ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू टॉपिक कॉल सिंपल इंटरेस्ट दिस टॉपिक इज देयर इन स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अ सिंपल वे ऑफ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट अलोंग विद द फॉर्मूलाज सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक फॉर्मूलाज यू शुड नो द मेन फॉर्मूलाज ऑफ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट you are only aware about two formulas that is first is simple interest that is pnr upon 100 but this is a main formula from this main formula we have derived these three formulas now what are these three formulas how they work this is nothing but simple interest is equal to pnr upon 100 now what is i i is nothing but interest or you can say simple interest p is equal to principal and r is equal to rate of interest n is and t is time and period a is amount so what is this is a main formula we are going to derive from the main formula p is equal to i into 100 upon nr R is equal to I into hundred upon P N, and N is equal to I into hundred upon P R. Now, how to get about these formulas? Now, you know this P N R are the three elements which are required. So, if you want to find out P, you have to write N R. If you have to find out R, you have to write P N, and if you want to find out N, you have to write P R. similarly here there is one more main formula that is a is equal to p plus i this is your main formula from this formula we will derive i is equal to a minus p p is equal to a minus i so once you are clear with the formulas we will go do some examples let's take a first example if the interest on Rupees five thousand in eight years is five hundred thousand. What is the rate of interest? So first here you have to find out what is R. Then here rate of interest means simple interest is five thousand rupees. Your P is equal to principal is again five thousand. N is equal to eight years. Now let's use the formula R is equal to I into hundred upon P N. now you have to substitute the values of i p and n now reduce it this 5000 will get reduced with this directly now this 8 and 100 you have to reduce it with the help of table of 2 two fours are 8 and two fives are 10 so that is nothing but 50 now again you can reduce it 50 and 4 so with the table of 2 what is half of 50 25 and half of 4 is 2 so your answer is r is equal to 25 upon 2 but you don't have 25 upon 2 in the option so you will convert it into mixed fraction that is 12 1 upon 2 percent option number 3 let's go to next sum the principal at certain rate of interest doubles in 5 years by the simple interest so now here we don't have any principal so we will consider it as 100 and then amount doubles doubles means the double of 100 is 200 now we have to find out i i is nothing but a minus p amount minus principal is equal to 100 and they have given as 5 years so we have to find out r let's use the formula of r and substitute the values now you have to reduce it so now let's reduce this 100 will get cut with this 100 now you have to reduce 5 ones are 5 and 5 20 is 100 so now here your r is equal to 20% but this is just not a question what we have to do we have the another question is there are two questions so another question is in how many years so we have to find out n 
the same principle. Now, what is the principle over here? 100. So, we will use the same principle with the same rate of interest. So, R which you have found over here, we will use this R. And it becomes 5 times. 5 times means your amount becomes 500. So, your interest will be 500 minus 100 that is 400. So, now let us use the formula. Now, substitute your formula and then we have to reduce it again. This 100 will get cut with this. This 1 0 will get cut with this. Now, you have to reduce it. 2 1s are 2 and then here 20. So, you, you will get your n means number of years is equal to 20 years. Option number 3. Let us continue with the next example. Now, here the amount is given as 12,700. Principal is 10,000. And I, therefore, now amount and principal is there. We have to find out I with our formula. Amount minus principal is equal to 2700. N is equal to 3 years. So, we have to find rate of interest. Use the formula of rate of interest substitute. Now, we have to reduce it. So, let us reduce the zeros first. One zero with this. Another zero with this. Now, there are two more zeros. One, two and one, two. Now, what remains over here? 27 upon 3. Now, you have to reduce 3 ones are 3. 3 nines are 27. So, your R is nothing but 9%. Option number 3. Now, let us do next sum. Here, rate of interest is 7. I is equal to 2520. 2520. N is 3. We have to find out principle. Use the formula substitute and then reduce. Now again after reducing you will get answer 12,000 that is option number 4. Now let us go to next. Here the amount is 15,000. N is 3 years. Interest is 4,500. So, now we have to find out rate of interest, but we have to find out principal first. So, principal is equal to amount minus interest that is 10,500. Now, we have to use the formula of our rate of interest. So, substitute the value and then we have to again reduce. So, how we will reduce? The zeros will get cut. 1, 2, 3 over here in the denominator. So, 1, 2, 3 in the numerator will get reduced. Now, here 15, table of 15, 15, 3 is a 45. Now, again this 3, 1 is 3 and again 3, 1 is 3. Now, 1, 0 is left out. So, your answer is 10%. That is option number 1. So, hope you are clear with this chapter, simple interest.